My name is Jason Chanko. I'm an Applications Engineer for Regal Technologies. I'm going to do a little walkthrough of the DG4000 Arbitrary Waveform Generator. Uh, power up this DG4162. This is a 160 megahertz model, uh, but they come in 60, 100, and 160 megahertz. Uh, you'll see with all of the DG4000 models have dual channels. Channel 1 channel 2 are identical as far as their power output, uh, voltage and current, as well as all of their capabilities. They each have 16,000 point ARB uh, capabilities, as well as uh, all of the features basically match channel to channel. Um, some of the standard waveforms that we have are sine, square, ramp, pulse, noise, ARB, harmonic, I'll explain a little bit more, and then user, you can define that button. But you'll see uh, on the display we see sine, square, ramp, pulse, etc. So each of the uh, each of the modules, whoops, each of the functions actually have a really nice descriptive picture to be able to go, oh okay, in, indicate exactly what type of waveform you're working with. Um, so let's just take a look at entering some of the data. Let's pick a square wave and you can see now we have frequency highlighted in channel 1 and so we can select uh, frequency or we can select amplitude, you'll see the marker move down or offset, start phase, duty cycle, align phase. Let's go to frequency and there are a few different ways we can enter that information. We can either use a scroll wheel and we can increase that frequency this way or we can uh, use the actual keypad so we could go 10 megahertz as an example and now let's turn that output on and I'm just going to I have it connected uh, channel 1 is actually connected to one of our oscilloscopes the DS4000 series I'm just gonna pan over for a second if you can bear with me and so you can see that we have uh, the square wave shown over here on the scope and now let's just change that to a little bit let's go to 50 megahertz and you can see then that we've sort of gotten more of a uh, more of a tighter uh, period on that. This is all right. Sorry about that. Anyway, uh, so we can also, uh, as I showed, we can enter through the keypad as well, and that's that's available for all of the functions: uh, amplitude, offset, phase, duty cycle, etc. So I'm going to go back through some of these again. We had sine, square, ramp, pretty standard. Uh, pulse, where you can select the actual pulse width. Uh, this is just giving us a warning that we're at the limit of that particular function's output power, uh, or I mean output specifications as far as frequency. You can also select noise. You can output noise using the utility key, and we can select channel 1, and we can actually put noise on that. Uh, so you can put up to 50% of the noise onto a particular signal. So let's say uh, if you had sine, you could put a percentage of that sine wave's uh, value in, as a noise. So you can ride noise on top of a particular uh, function. Also arbitrary, so you, uh, you manu or users could build their own arbitrary waveform and then place the noise on top of that if you wanted to test the noise immunity for your system. Uh, another function that we have is modulation. Uh, tons of types. Uh, I won't go through all of them, but AM, FM, uh, phase modulation, etc. There's two pages of them. Um, and then we also have sweep capability, linear log, um, and then you can also perform the sweep time. Uh, lots of parameters to set in that regard. Uh, let me see. Also in burst mode, so you can, can you can create packets of data or packets of waveforms and have those burst at a specific rate. And let me cover, let me see what else we have. I'd like to go into the harmonics just a bit. A colleague of mine actually put together another video that deals more with the harmonics. But with the harmonics, you can create, using Fourier coefficients, you can actually build up particular waveforms. Uh, you know, you can add uh, odd harmonics as an example to create a square wave, which can be useful uh, in education as well as doing some uh, harmonic testing for filters and the like. Um, again, that's just a pretty quick run through. I'm just going to set up a sweep as we depart here. I'm going to pick a sign and do a sweep, uh, and we'll do a linear sweep. I'm just going to put this into auto. And you can see now that we're doing a quick sweep as a parting shot. If you have any questions, just contact us at Regal, and we'd be happy to help. Thanks a lot.